Hi guys, and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. Um, we're just going through a, a few sort of short tips in this uh, particular section. And this one is got to do with uh, setting our BPM quickly in our track. So if you're performing out live and you're using your uh, session view, you're triggering your, your scenes down your right hand side here with your, your master selection. And I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. Um, one of the tips which um, I'm going to show you here is, let me see if I just bring in a drum loop here first of all. Okay. Sounds a bit better. Okay, so you've got your scenes going along and you've got them filled up with your bass parts or your, your drums or whatever. And um, when you get to the next scene, um, you play it and you get your, your next set of drums playing. And what we can do here is if you want to change the tempo, we can actually set it in the scene selection on the right hand side. So if I go down to a scene selection and rename this and I go for um, tempo change um, you can call, say whatever you want in here but I'm just gonna write tempo change and then whatever you write after here if you write uh, a number and then a BPM it'll actually save that as the BPM that you want it to go to so if I want to change this to 100 BPM you'll see there this changes to a blue section to sort of signify that that's going to happen and then our scene 4 I can change this to maybe um, say uh, 125 BPM and it does the same thing and then what we can do is we can uh, remove the, the buttons from these sections let's get rid of that one altogether and I can do that in here and here and here and that'll stop the the clips um, from the above scenes from stopping because we, we don't want that to happen so if I hit play now on the first one now if I click play on this scene here, it'll drop the tempo to 100 BPM, but it won't stop any of our clips because we removed the stop action. And then we can go to the second scene, we can play it to get this clip to play. And still at 100 BPM, we want to bring that back up to 125, we can use this. And click here. There's nothing to stop us dropping in a drum loop and also renaming this to um, a different BPM. It'll trigger that drum loop and it'll also trigger the BPM change. Okay, so that's just a quick tip for those of you that like to uh, use Ableton to perform live. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.